A man in an orange biohazard suit, Edgini, is standing alone on a dark-colored soil. Suddenly, he hears a deep voice that is speaking gibberish. He also sees that the ground has turned into cube-shaped bits and pieces that slowly float upward. It turns out to be a hallucination. A soldier wearing a gas mask asks him if he is all right. Still shaken by what he had seen, Evgeny answers that he is okay, although he needs to stop for a while. But the soldier informs him that he and his fellow soldiers need to move forward. As such, the soldier gestures to the others to move on, and they follow. Having no choice, Evgeny moves as well. They move together toward a dark and lifeless forest. The sky is also noticeably gray and dull, making the atmosphere eerie. Inside the dark forest, Edgeny looks around the lifeless and abandoned place. He comments that he knew the state of this place is bad. But before he can continue what he is about to say, the soldier tells him that they are not yet where they are needed to go. Eventually, Edgeny sees a fallen helicopter in the forest. Without hesitation, he quickly approaches the helicopter and immediately sees a corpse inside. He looks closely at the corpse, but he gets distracted by a soldier telling him that this is where they have stored the vehicles. The soldier then warns him not to break away from the group again. When Edgeny looks back inside the helicopter, the corpse has mysteriously vanished. The soldier tells him to focus on his breathing and stay close to the soldiers. Certain that he saw something, Edgeny takes one good look at the helicopter before going back to the group. While walking, Edgeny's vision gets blurry with every breath he takes. Breathing heavily, he tells the soldiers to wait up as he stops and takes a rest. A soldier taps him on the back and he thanks the soldier for doing so. However, when he looks back to the front, he suddenly sees a great gray wall of cardibrite. One of the debris turns to red in a flash, causing Evgeny to stumble down. Frightened and confused, he crawls away from the place. When he looks up, he suddenly sees a gigantic marble hovering above him like a meteor about to fall. But it is all hallucinations again. He continues his walk, although his vision is steadily blurring every time he breathes. Because he cannot take it anymore, he calls one of the soldiers to wait because he saw something. All of a sudden, he steps on some twigs and one of the soldiers orders them to halt. The soldier informs Evgeny that they have finally arrived at where they are heading. In front of them, another group of soldiers are already there before them. They all turn around to meet Evgeny. He approaches them, only to see that there are piles of cube-shaped rocks hitting each other behind the group. When he asks them what it is, the man wearing a green biohazard suit tells him that he has no time to explain the anomaly. He tells Evgeny that he needs to approach it. Of course, he does not want to do it because he does not know its nature. The soldiers that came along with him suddenly point their guns at him for refusing to cooperate, and he becomes confused by this betrayal. The man in the green biohazard suit tells Evgeny that he needs to approach the anomaly for their country. Because he is still refusing to do so, a soldier pushes Evgeny forward to make him move. He takes one last look at the green-colored biohazard man before finally approaching the anomaly in a slow and cautious manner. He then takes a look back to the soldiers as he moves toward it. However, he suddenly turns around due to his headache, but he is stopped in his tracks by some warning shot instead. Without a word being uttered, the threat is enough to relay the message of his imminent death if he decides to return. Having no choice, he turns back again to the strange anomaly. As he comes close to it, Evgeny is having a hard time approaching it due to his growing headache. All of a sudden, he falls to his knees and screams in agony. When he wakes up, he finds himself in a dark and abandoned rocky place. He looks behind him and sees the anomaly has approached him. Inside the clump of cube-shaped rock, he sees the same green-colored biohazard man screaming for help. The rocks then squeeze the blood out of the man, much to Edgeny's horror. He wakes up again, but he is now back to the real world. It seems that he cannot breathe anymore from his mask, so he removes it. However, instead of poisonous air, Edgeny breathes fine and sees the sun rising out from the earlier gray skies. Strangely enough, he also sees the bloody corpses of the soldiers in front of him. Finally able to breath, Edgeny drops the mask into the ground and basks in the sunshine.